Hey guys, today I wanted to demonstrate some custom functions I have set up with my Radeon XD 7412G security system. Um, first, I'll show you the panel. Here's the panel, and if you notice, I have a card up here. This card is a Radeon X Octo Relay module, and basically what it does is it gives me eight dry contact relays, which is really useful for random stuff. Um, so I'll show you some things that I have hooked up to it. Um, I'll make a dedicated video on, like, the security portion of this system at some point today. I just want to demonstrate my quick little custom functions I have set up. So right here, I have an access control system, and there's a request to exit bus on it. So I push that button. It unlocks the door for about three seconds, and that chime you just heard was the watch mode. I'll turn it off just for my sanity. Um, so what I have is I have a wire right here. These two wires right here are ran to the request to exit bus where if they short, it unlocks the door. So if you notice, if I just push down and don't let off this, the door does not lock again. But the second I let go of it, it waits for about three seconds and then it locks again. So I can do this with a custom function I have set up. So we'll go into my menu options. We'll scroll through until I see unlock door, which I programmed in here. If I enter. I'll enter my password, which is temporary, you don't, so that won't do anything. There we go. And whenever you do something like that, it does send a report to the central station, um, which is pretty cool. But, yeah, so my door is unlocked, and like I said, it's just shorting that request to exit. So if I push that button, it doesn't do anything because it's already shorted. So now I also have a custom function to uh, turn it off, so we'll just go... Oh, dang it, I messed it up. Okay, we'll just frick you. Ah, uh, I did it too fast. Lock door. There we go. I think I had something programmed wrong, wrong in that custom function, was why it, where it beeps. I think, yeah, I think it's just because I'm hitting enter instead of escape, but I can fix that in my programming. So you see, door's locked again. Now I want to show another function I have set up. And now this is not norm this is not necessarily a custom function because it is um it is not uh in the menu options, but you just have to turn on a relay. So that right there, that monstrosity is my lighting control system and because I'm into HID lamps and so I build stuff. I don't care what you say, I don't care how up to code it is or how not up to code it is, deal with it. I have a couple of wires right there that's ran to a coil of a contactor in there so if i do this it turns on the control system watch so if i do command 54 and then type in my code and then i do relay 2 enter and then do enter one more time you can hear a loud click and you can see that it just turned on my lighting control system i'm not going to turn any bulbs on today um because i do use a lot of power but if i wanted to turn it off we can do it again, command 54, code, two, enter, and then I'll show that this time, enter. There we go. So yeah, those are some cool functions that you could do with Radionics panels, and um, I'm sure you could do it with other brands as well, but this Radionics is just what I'm familiar with. So anyways, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below, and I will try to answer it. And I will have more videos out on Radionic systems and how to program them in the future. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.